This video is powered by KLM. I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you feel utterly compelled to come and experience the magic of Dahlstrom for yourself. It's time for me to act like a tourist in my own country. And the first stop on the Dahlstrom adventure is the Dahlstrom Inn, which turns out to be Dahlstrom's oldest establishment. They've actually got such a cool story here in their menu. It goes that the Dahlstrom Inn's history dates all the way back to 1912 and was Mpumalanga's best kept secret for decades until the first ever Sunday Times Finders Keepers Prize of a million rand was actually hidden in this very pub. They also have a Guinness Book World Record in that the barrel that was used for the world record pole sitting from the 17th of March 1997, it's mounted right next to the historical fireplace. And that historical fireplace, well that's been going for over 40 years. And that's why I thought we had to start here with all the richness of the history. Grab a drink, grab a bite to eat. I can't wait. In America, these are French fries, but in South Africa, slap chips, and they are world's better. So you know that Finders Keepers competition I was telling you about? The million rand was hiding behind here. So an interesting fact about Dahlstrom is that it is the highest town in all of South Africa because its altitude sits at 2,100 meters above sea level. It's actually become quite a popular training base for top European athletes in the summer months. So whenever I travel locally or abroad, I always feel like a little kid and I figured what better way to celebrate the inner child than coming to Adelicious for a milkshake I've got caramel, peanut butter, Aljandro over there has got Turkish delight, and my baby sister has bubblegum. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is down my alley. I haven't had a milkshake since I was a little girl, and this is hella tasty. Listen, that milkshake was off the hook. Funky decor. I actually cannot recommend that milkshake highly enough. Why didn't you have a milkshake? It's very irresponsible to have a milkshake. You know what they say about milkshake? What? No. Brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been coming to Dahlstrom for about the last 10 years. And whenever I do, I always find myself staying at this place, the Dunkeld Country Estate. I love it. And I have to show you around and show you why this place is so beautiful. But this is nature at its finest. I am looking forward to such a solid weekend with all of you. So what I've poured you is the Babel Red, it's a blend and it's just a seriously incredible wine. It doesn't get much better sitting here overlooking the lake at Dunkeld. I'll say cheers to a beautiful weekend with you and to you my dear team behind the scenes. So one of my favorite reasons for coming to Dahlstrom and Dunkeld, that combination is key for me because you're tired after a long week of work. So you do the two and a half hour drive and you can do this type of thing when you get here on a Friday night. You can have a bra, you can chill out with your mates, you can just relax after the craziest time. But then tomorrow, which we're obviously getting to, that's when you can go into the town, you can socialize, you can have a few drinks. You get the in between nature, relax and chill but then you also get the more upbeat, social, more crowded aspect. For me, this is simply why Dunkeld can't be beat. So we saved this bottle, Work of Time by Springfield, for this evening. And I don't know if there's a better bottle of red wine under about 300 Rand right now than this one to enjoy with friends. There you go.
I tell you, last night was so crazy because while we were sleeping, it bucketed down with rain, thunder, lightning. I actually thought the roof was going to fall off. So this morning when we woke up, we were going to go for a little hike outside of the estate, but all the paths are muddy. So we replaced it with a walk around the Dunkeld Country Estate. And this is what makes this place so incredible. You've got horse stables, you've got other hiking paths, you've just got general nature. It's one of my favorite things about Dunkeld. So we've got a full day ahead, but we thought we'd take a little bit of time just to be in nature before we get into the madness. I keep telling anyone that will listen that South Africa has to be the most beautiful country on earth. As we set off for our drive around Dunkeld, we had no clue what we were about to witness. To have all these animals roaming freely right in front of you is such a special sight. As I stood there and witnessed nature at its finest, I just felt so at peace. And that's why I believe travel is an investment rather than an expense. We were lucky enough to get like two and a half hours of adventuring all over Dunkeld before the weather turned miserable and we worked up enough of an appetite to uh, come to Harry's Pancakes and this is always a treat for me because you get pancakes like chicken and mushroom with cashew nuts or Dutch bacon literally put into the batter. We had the more traditional breakfast and Lundy, well Lundy went large and in charge with two portions. We're definitely going to crack this. So quick history lesson about Harry's Pancakes. They literally have four of these stores across South Africa. And they opened the first one in Kraskop, which is a town in Pumalanga, in 1986. 36 years of making pancakes. Apparently got the recipe from an old woman in that town, tweaked it over the years. Boom, now we have like 50 South African flavors. It really is a treat. If you're in Dahlstrom, you have to come grab a bite. This is delicious. So when we told the whole world that we were coming to Dahlstrom to make this video, everybody, and I mean everybody, reached out and said, you have to go to Wild About Whiskey. And that's exactly where we are today. This is Chipo. Hello, my angel. Hi, how are you, sir? You're going to be serving us these whiskeys. With pleasure, sir. Oh, well. Yes. Can't wait to see what you have in store for us. Are you going to make us drunk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it true that you guys started with like a dozen whiskies and now you're what, on 1700? Yes, yes, it is true. Amazing. So whiskey is basically a distilled beer. In Scotland, they use 100% barley. That's why they call them single malts. So it's 100% barley from one distillery. That's your single malt. So we just literally finished the whiskey tasting here at Wild Rat Whiskey. I cannot recommend this enough, but above all, just super friendly, super educational. I really cannot recommend this place highly enough when you come through. So I swear we don't only drink and eat for a living. And our next stop, we had to go from the largest selection of whiskies in the Southern Hemisphere to the largest selection of clocks. Can you believe it in the Southern Hemisphere? We're here at the clock shop and what you're about to see is just five and a half thousand different versions of clocks. I mean, how cool. It's become a total destination. I'm going to show you why. The passion and knowledge of the owners about each timepiece was something special. But what blew me away was the sheer variety of clocks from all around the world with some grandfather clocks hailing from France and dating back to the 18th century. Dahlstrom is the gift that keeps on giving. It turns out they've got their own brewery called Anvil Brewhouse. And they've even won African Brewer of the Year 2016, 2017 and 2019. I guess with accolades like that, we had to come and have a little beer, have a little taster before a, a mad Springbok game. Why not? Yes.
So listen, I'm a rugby fanatic like most South Africans. Today, the Bucks are playing Italy, and I thought, why not find the most vibey pub in town? That happens to be a place behind me called The Poacher. Maybe meet some locals. God bless South Africa. Let's go support the Bucks. So on this Saturday, we saved the best for last. We are at Mrs. Simpson's. I'm here with the two owners, Brian and Stephen. <laughs> As you get here, the two owners, they are magnificent. They are the reason that this place is so popular. And if you look around the restaurant, you'll see all the decor, it's donated. So people will give their shoes, their purses, their fur coats. I just love that this is your wine list. If it's not here, we don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll admit we got a little bit carried away with the wine. But the food is the reason you have to book well in advance to get into this restaurant. That seafood pasta I ate has to be up there with the best I've ever ordered anywhere in the world. Oh look, a vodka shot for all of us while my girlfriend sits on both the owner's laps. These guys were such epic hosts, and this was a dinner experience of note. Thank you, Thank you for visiting. So, day three has finally arrived. Our last few hours here in Dahlstrom, and the weather is uh, wreaking havoc on our outdoor activity plans but it's quite interesting because in 1892 when Paul Kruger proclaimed Dahlstrom a town the Dutch settlers at the time called it the place of eternal mist and it's been so beautiful here but of course man plans and God laughs so all the things that we wanted to do this morning we only have to change it up a little so it's really sad for us obviously to be leaving here today but we have a few more hours and just before we leave Dunkeld I want to take you to this forest, which I just think is super enchanting, and I want to show you all of its beauty. About six or seven years ago, I came here to Dunkeld uh, with seven of my friends, and we actually attended a wedding in this forest, and it was one of the most beautiful memories that I can recall in recent time. And I didn't think that we could leave Dunkeld just without showing you how magical this little forest is as you drive in at the entrance. So we're doing uh, Sunday breakfast a little differently this morning. We have arrived at a place called Sea Spirit. This place is really cool because it's actually got like four distinct areas and sections to it. So it's built in this container kind of format. On one end, you've got a bar with a tasting menu. We're sitting in the burger joint right now. On the other side, you've got a coffee shop and they also serve like little treats and cupcakes in the works. We love supporting new businesses, grabbing a bite before we move on. Uh, that has to be the top, the top uh, burger joint here. So the board is saying this is a wattled crane, critically endangered, only 350 left in the country. You know, you're losing your birds and if you lose the birds the whole system is destroyed because your birds are keeping everything else in balance so you need to keep them safe hmm. so we literally just finished up with a tour here at birds of prey in dahlstrom and what a magnificent experience we got to see how all these birds get rehabilitated and looked after and they really do need our support i really want to encourage you when you come to dahlstrom don't just come for the drinking and eating they're on the main road stop by 
It really is an in-person experience that can't be matched. I am so glad we did this. So one of our last little stops before we make our way home and we've come to Waffle & Co. You can't go on a holiday trip and not have a waffle. We all end up getting sweet ice cream waffles, but my angel pie over there, he goes and gets <laughs> the most savory waffle with syrup. <laughs> I'm never within the boundaries of conformity. I'm all, I've always got to be different. So one last stop before we make our way home. I just felt we had to include it in this video and that is the Highland Gate Golf and Trout Estate here in Dahlstrom. It really just speaks to the diversity of the town, whether you want to grab a game of golf or have a drink in their clubhouse. The scenery here on this deck, it's just so beautiful and we had to show you. And that is a wrap of our weekend in Dahlstrom. The beauty and the scenery. I mean, just look at what's behind me. It just, it's so hard to explain in words, even in video, it's so hard to show. It is something that you have to see for yourself. The magic of Dahlstrom lies in the fact that there is so much to do relative to the size of this town. But if I think back, it is the people that we met along the way, all the cool places that we got to visit. They just have so many incredible stories. Everywhere we went, it was just magical filled with amazing people. You have to come and see it with your own eyes. I hope that this video inspires you to act like a tourist in your own country. We have no clue how beautiful South Africa is, but I hope it inspires you to come and find out for yourself.